Now, here's the thing, guys. I don't think I told you guys this. I am sticking to my grocery budget of 5,000 Jamaican dollars. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So, today, I'm going to do something a little bit different again. Um, I want to merge the whole vlogging thing with what my channel is about, which is financial literacy. It's helping you out with you know your financial decisions so we're gonna look at a more everyday decision today which is buying groceries i don't have any grocery in my apartment right now literally don't i've been eating junk food all week which is really bad so today i'm gonna today's sunday i've decided i'm gonna just take some time and go get some groceries my week has been very crazy which is why i haven't gone to the supermarket already but today's Sunday, as I said, so I have some time. What I'm gonna do, the first thing I do before I go get, go to the supermarket to get grocery, I plan what I'm gonna eat for the week. It makes it so much easier when you go to the supermarket. I don't like, you know them people who go to the supermarket back and forth, back and forth, back and forth? I'm gonna like that. I'm gonna like that. You need to have a plan when you go to the supermarket. I go in each aisle once because that's it. I have a plan. How do I have a plan? I plan what I'm gonna eat for the week. So. As you, I told you guys in my last vlog, and I've told you, or my vlog before, I told you guys several times that I eat pretty much the same thing um, every morning for breakfast. So for that, for that particular week. So one week I may eat egg and broccoli um, and turkey bacon all week, or I may eat oatmeal and almond milk all week, or I may eat all, um, oatmeal, water, um, and a little bit of sugar all week, but it's pretty much very standard. So this week, this coming week, tomorrow, tomorrow week, I'm gonna eat oatmeal all week. I need to get back in, I need to be, get back to my healthy eating. <laughs> you know, I have not been healthy for quite a while, even though, even though I'm proud to say I put on this skirt this morning. Okay, it's so big, so I'm not gaining weight or anything, but I don't want to get back to where I was before, before I realized that holy crap, there's a problem. So yeah, so I'm doing oatmeal all week. Um, I'm gonna do, for lunch, I'm gonna do, some days I'm gonna do tuna, a tuna sandwich, or I'll probably do um, a BLT, a BLT, uh, well, you know, a BLT is a sandwich, bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for this week. And obviously, I have coffee, everybody know that. That's all I want to mention. So every meal I have coffee, every, every meal I have coffee. And for everybody who's going to attack me in the comment section, because you have attacked me in the comment section in my last vlog, let me just say, um, I quite enjoy coffee. It's not just an addiction. I, I understand it's an addiction, but it's not just an addiction. I know how I sound, I sound like a junkie, but I actually enjoy coffee. It tastes good to me, it smells good to me, my roommate in Barbados, fun fact, side note, sidebar, my roommate in Barbados, he had a coffee scented candle and listen, our apartment was just bomb. He and I are both addicted to coffee and we used to drink whole heap of coffee to stay open and study and all of that. But um, he also had a coffee scented candle, so that was great. We called our apartment the coffee shop. <laughs> but yeah, so as I said, tuna, um, Bacon, lettuce, tomato for lunch some days. Um, by the way, guys, I got lashes because my boss I got lashes. I explained, listen, I did a vlog. I recorded another vlog, right? But it's, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. Let me know if, in the comment section if you want me to still post it. I probably will. But in my last vlog, the vlog I recorded that I don't know if I'm going to post, I explained my lashes and financially why I, you know, why I decided to get lashes. But anyway, back to grocery shopping. That's what we're doing today. Now, we're, we've completed breakfast. We've completed lunch. Now it's time to look to dinner. When I cook, I cook for multiple days. So um, I just I just pick two two meal options and the two meal options they spread out for the whole week now i've chosen cabbage and corned beef because well i love cabbage and corned beef but secondly it's not expensive at all and um the next meal i chose was curry chicken so i like curry chicken or stewed chicken or chicken with, um you know meat that you it requires meat to be cut in pieces i like that because you can stretch the meat and you know me i'm about that life so i'm gonna do curry chicken 
um, this week with vegetables like potatoes and carrots and I'm also gonna do cabbage and corned beef now in terms of serving what I'm gonna serve it with I'm gonna serve the cabbage and corned beef corned beef with brown rice um, which I already have and I'm gonna serve the corn chicken with food like brown provision like banana yam that kind of a thing now here's the thing guys I don't think I told you guys this I I'm sticking to my grocery budget of 5,000 Jamaican dollars. So come with me to see if I can do it or not. Um, most times I can do it, but this time, I don't know. You know when you have people watch you, they always mess up. <laughs> Even though you do a whole heap time before. I don't know if that's what's gonna happen, but come with me to see if I can do it. You can see the brands I buy. Um, you can see how much of a cheap skate I am. I'm that person who one two three pick up four finger banana yeah i'm that person but come with me and you can see more it's such a beautiful day five hundred thousand us for my performance book me already Come here to tough, you know. That's why I put holy pajel in it. I put holy pajel, holy pajel. I wash my hair once a week, and as soon as I wash it, I just fling holy pajel in it, and then I put holy pajel things all it down, and it just stay for the week. So today's Sunday, which is end of the week, which is why I look so. Forgive me, but I just remember, I'm just going to the supermarket. That's all. To me, I'll wear the big skirt. I wear the big skirt, you know. I wear the big skirt, so you know, saying nothing serious, but. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the supermarket now. See you soon. So, change of plans. I'm going to a post office because my Mr. Man needs to collect his mail. Anyway, look at the sky. Oh my God, the sky is so pretty. Wow, wow. I love Jamaica. Me love ya. How does that go? Not me love ya, not left ya. Whatever the party said. But yeah, so I'm going to the post office instead and then I'm going to go get groceries.
gonna get some paper towel now i normally get the sophie brand which is the brand to the left uh but of late i've noticed that the perforation is not you know so defined so i end up reeling off the entire thing and it's just so it's not convenient so even though it has a very good price attached to it which you see here i am going to have to try another brand which is this one it's in the same price bracket i'm gonna give it a try to see if it holds up so i'm gonna get bread now i don't see the bread i normally get i normally get a bread that has 70 calories per slice but i'm gonna try this purity bread to see what it is made of i see that it has 110 calories which is not my favorite because you know i'm trying to maintain my weight or lose weight <laughs> so my calories matter i'm just looking to see if i see any um if i see my bread but i'm not seeing it so i think i'm gonna have to go with this purity bread hopefully it tastes good but i'm gonna work with it for this week at least it's 110 calories let's see if i can spare it me no like oh them banana here look none at all so i'm not buying any bananas in the supermarket i probably stop at the market um the red hills road market to see if i can get some bananas but we'll see guys i'm usually against this type of thing you know i prefer to buy the product itself and peel it to save some money or whatever it is but i can't find any bananas and this price don't look too bad 224 dollars plus tax for a dozen bananas already peeled says it cooks in five minutes um i'm gonna try this i'm pretty sure my mother would count me if she saw this but i don't really want to go to the market i want to just go home i'm hungry so i'm gonna get these bananas i'm gonna try them see if they work out and we'll see but i think we're gonna remain on the budget anyway but let's talk about this lettuce now this iceberg lettuce is almost 500 dollars. i don't know who them think going by this iceberg lettuce for 400 or 500 dollars. not this girl anna palomino so i'm probably gonna have to definitely go to the market to get lettuce um and then look for them tomato here i prefer use ketchup if I use ketchup, then me, I buy them a tomato for them a money. I'm sorry, love, but it's just not gonna work. I do. Ciao. <laughs> guys so i came i just went to the supermarket got groceries as you can see um i'm gonna show you what the groceries look like collectively by the way by the way i as you can see i spent less than five thousand dollars and i even got pancake mix in there pancake mix over here pancake eggs bacon pancake fit you get it so i'm gonna show you what it look like collectively i'll go back through what i'm gonna be eating for the week um i hope this video helps somebody like i know there are a lot of people struggling with their food budget so i hope this can give you some ideas as to how you can i don't know like some new food ideas or maybe some new grocery ideas or how you can manipulate your food or manipulate your food budget just to mention i did not buy everything i i'm gonna need for this week so for example i told you i'm gonna cook curry chicken but i have mixed parts in the freezer um not a not a lot just like maybe what's it a quarter chicken quarter but I, you know i'm gonna chop that up i'm gonna add some potatoes add some carrots and that way stretch it right i used to have a charity called rapport charity group um and we used to feed the homeless so we know all about stretching food right and the potatoes and carrots that's the best way to stretch curry chicken and, and even brown sweet chicken so i'm gonna add some of that but let me show you what i'm what i'm looking to do so i got some bread as i said this bread is not the bread i normally get i normally get the bread that um it's 70 calories per slice as you can see this is 110 calories per slice uh i like to get the the bread with um fewer calories because obviously if i'm trying to get back on 
healthy healthy lifestyle and I tried to get my waistline down. <laughs> I need something with fewer calories. I got some eggs, but here what? I am so upset with myself. Is it because my focus on the camera? I'm not used to, I'm not really used to the vlogging thing. I never pick the eggs properly. I usually look for the fattest eggs, the biggest eggs. I usually take for cracks and stuff, but I end up take up some little monkey little some little quail looking eggs. Small, small, small eggs. Um so that's this was a bad buy. I got some bananas. Bananas were not on my grocery list, but as you can see, still came under five thousand dollars. I'm gonna have these bananas before gym. So I normally get a banana, eat a banana before gym or half a banana before gym. Plus my pre-workout. I got some sugar. Uh just to sweeten my oatmeal a little bit. These bananas, I'm so excited to try this because I think if my mother said this sugar cost me, you know, but <laughs> you guys saw the bananas in the supermarket and I wanted to just get grocery shopping out of the way just one time. I didn't know how I forgot to the market and things. So I saw these and they were like $224 plus tax for a dozen banana. So I'm going to try this and see what can go on. Got some yam. Holy for yam. Got my cabbage. Corned beef. I like low sodium corned beef. The condensed milk. I got condensed milk only because my dream about condensed milk for the past, every night for the past three nights. Which I wake up and I'm like, what the hell? Why am I dreaming about condensed milk? So I'm gonna just buy some condensed milk just to see what can go on. Got two cans of tuna. Now this tuna, the reason why I bought only two cans, this tuna is actually two. This can is actually two servings, as you can see. So um, you get two servings from this can, this container. This is two day lunch, and this is one serving. So this is lunch for three days. Um lunch for three days and then for the next two days i probably have some some of this that that's going to be left back or some of the curry chicken or whatever that's going to be left back i have the oats which is going to be my breakfast for this week um what else? oh i bought paper towel because well <laughs> i need paper towel i got this this was not um on my grocery list but i picked it up just in case i had a feeling the thing would come under five grand so i picked this up to see um if the budget if they Bill did come to less than five grand. I would have gotten this because today's Sunday and I wanted to make some pancakes for my Mr. Man. Um, what else I got? Yeah, that's all I got. Um, so yeah, so this is where I store my oats. I'm gonna empty this now into this. Um, I get to have a little dispenser thing. So that's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at for today. So I did this to show you guys that it is possible to um, not have a fifty thousand dollar grocery bill. Um, if you do th do it like this, you're gonna spend twenty thousand dollars per month on grocery. But I have a, you need to have a um, like a price smart budget or a um, bulk budget aside from the twenty thousand dollars to make sure you stay within um, budget. Because here's the thing, you're gonna need things like soap. Remember I say I have chicken in there is because I bought that bulk. You're gonna need meat. Um, you're gonna need, there's so, some things that you don't buy every week, but you buy them every month. And if you don't put them in a budget, that's where you're gonna run in problems. So make sure you make a sensible, practical budget. Not because I bought this um, alone this week and my bill came to, what was it, $4,000? It means that this is all I need to survive for the week. I have to tell you, I have rice up there because I bought that in bulk. Um, I bought, buy that once a month. I bought that in bulk, by the way sidebar yeah i'm one of those people who you see how i can tell it without even looking at the can how many servings uh, come, come in this one can is because i pay attention to that so even rice i look to see how many servings i can get out of the rice which is on the back of the container um and i say all right you tell me that's 20 servings per container that's literally 20 meals for me and i budget it out like that so if you are serious about cutting down your food budget and serious about your fire lifestyle fire which is finance, financial independence, retire early. Um, if you're serious about that like me, then that's a tip I can give you. Just pay attention to your budget, budget practically, budget in a sensible manner, pay attention to the serving size, the serving sizes on the containers. Um, that way, I mean, you can lose weight. If you're trying to lose weight, you can be healthy. If you're trying to be healthy and you can save money. So what's the beat from there? Um, but yeah, so you need to, you can survive off $20,000 for, for the month, plus like, uh, Miss, not a missing like a bulk bill my bulk bill is like ten thousand dollars because it's just me um and even if i cook for my mr man it's we, we don't eat a lot um we're trying to be healthy so you still come on the budget with just 10 grand you buy soap let me tell you what i buy i buy soap um both dishwashing liquid and soap to uh, clean <clears throat> sorry clothes soap to do laundry um i buy bleach I buy soap to shower with, I buy oil, I buy rice, I buy flour, um, I buy just simple things. I don't really get too fancy with my food. I 
try to fuck the simple. Hey, you see when we retire my boss, we can buy everything, 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 all the things I want to buy in the world. But right now, for the next three years at least, this is my lifestyle. And I don't mind. As I said, I don't mind. This is what I grew up eating anyway, so I'm used to it and I'm okay. I actually enjoy these things. I enjoy it. I love corned beef. I love mackerel. What else my love? I love um, franken beans. I like this kind of thing so I'm okay doing this for the next three years and let me tell you knowing myself after I retire I probably still be eating the same things but yeah enough of that I hope you guys enjoyed your time with me I'm gonna go eat my breakfast now and put away my grocery um, let me know in the comment section remember I asked you let me know if you want me to drop the vlog that I did yesterday the one that's not too feeling if you still want to see let me know the next thing is let me know what your grocery budget is down below let me know how much you normally spend when you go to the supermarket if it is north of forty thousand dollars and you're single something wrong you need to figure that out right um something is wrong if you're on the fire lifestyle but if you're not if you're just living an ordinary life like you know the regular life then that's pretty normal so anyway i'll see you guys in my next video bye